when we look at urban mobility, when we look at data, actually most of the people travel individually in the city, and then we look at the best tra transportation mechanism for them. And car is obviously a not good solution. With the traffic, you always got stuck in the road. I mean, some data suggests like, you know, when you're city, car travel at somewhere at 15 kilometer per hour speed on average is actually very slow. Right? And, and then if you look at actually people taking subways, let me give you one data, right? In Beijing, in rush hours, there's six people squeezed in a per square meter space in Beijing. Think about just how tight that is, right? Then we look at all people need to commute in the city, roughly distance about 10 kilometers. So electric two-wheelers term, turns out to be the sort of the best solutions for them. And obviously, you know, new uh, technology, we're the largest smart electric two-wheeler company worldwide. I mean, since March, you know, up until March 31st this year, we have sold more than 710,000 710, units globally, and all our users have clocked 3 billion kilometers of riding distance, right? And the riding a smart lithium battery-based electric scooters, I mean, allow them to roam free around in the city, and the battery is so portable, it's anywhere between 5 kilo to 10 kilos, so there is actually no need for charging infrastructure. They simply can just take the battery out and the charge at home. And the smart connectivity allows them to actually have the total control of the scooter within their hand. They know where the scooter is, they know where their riding status. This is actually what we think is the best way to roam around the city and actually the best way to unlock the city. But, but Yan, look, you talked about the strong growth there you've seen, you talked about the number of people using your uh, scooters, but how defendable is your business? Because there seems to be, to some extent, a low barrier of entry and there could be, you know, from what we've seen from some consumer hardware, a uh, race to the bottom when it comes to pricing. So how do you, how do you make sure that your business is defendable? No, I, I think that's a great question. First of all, I, you know, let me address this. Is actually, before talking about defendable, not defendable, we're looking at this market is actually growing at an extremely fast rate. Electric scooter market in China is not new. In the past, well, the total number of users on electric scooter currently in China is 200 million users. Annually, there's 30 million units sold. Most of our, what do we call the light asset electric scooters, we see what do we call, a, there's a technology disruption from light asset based batteries to a lithium based batteries, such that the batteries are more portable, more environmental friendly. Globally, it's a trend of actually going from petrol to lithium. So before talking about defendability, we are the first lithium battery based electric scooter and we're the biggest brand out there. When people pick new, they know, they're, you know our scooter is beautifully designed. We're the only company that actually own two uh, products that won all seven international design awards. We're talking about IF, Red Dot, we're talking about the, uh, the G Mark, we're talking about the IDEA awards from the United States. So essentially, and we're in the same category with all, mobi all mobility you know, uh, products like cars. For example, in the IDEA, our M series was the silver medal. BMW new 5 series was a bronze medal. Sure. So essentially, we're providing a user a high-tech product fashionable product, beautifully designed, and there's no other choice. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.